Hi, and welcome to week two of my video diary. What I wanted to do today was recap week one and week two and talk a little bit about what's going to happen in week three. Week one, basically a reintroduction to exercise. I did one set of 10 reps with weight that wasn't very challenging. It was not ridiculously light, but it wasn't going to make me so sore that I couldn't come back and work out again two days later. Um, same thing for week two, except that I added another set. And on that second set, I increased the amount of weight that I lifted compared to the first set. All right, now week three is coming up. And for those of you who saw my ab video, you'll notice that when I did the shoulder exercises in between my ab sets, I wasn't really straining that hard to get the weight up. Well, that's not good. We got to work a little harder. Um, if you notice, I was using a 15 pound set of dumbbells. Well, the next jump is 20 pounds, and 5 pounds is a big jump, particularly for women, being as we don't have the upper body strength that men do. So, being as I like my dumbbell, as opposed to my other short bar dumbbell where you can put the plates on, the dumbbell is more compact. The plates are big and bulky, and I don't like, you know, I can't bring them close into my body. I, I don't like how big they are. They work for my back exercise, but I like my dumbbell for everybody, everything else. Well, I have these nifty little things called plate mates. Nifty, but not cheap. They're about 12 bucks a piece. Um, it's a one and a quarter pound, and it's a magnet that goes right on the end of your dumbbell. So next week, I'm going to be using these to make my weight workout a little bit more challenging. And again, for those of you who saw my ab workout, I did want to make a note about the five pound plate that I was using behind my head. Make sure if you try that exercise, that you are only holding the weight in place. Do not pull with your arms or your shoulders to lift your head. You should be frozen and holding that weight in one place and using your abs to move your whole entire upper body into a crunch. There should be no movement of your head trying to pull your spine up. There should be no arms and back crunching in to pull your head up with the plate. Keep the upper body frozen in a solid position and use your abs to do the crunch. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. So um, have a great weekend and I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on Monday.